The Church of Scientology has strenuously denied that its leader, David Miscavige, has ever been violent toward any staff members. But after spending 27 years within the organization, one senior staff member says he could no longer withstand the climate of violence that he says was created and encouraged by its leader. Marty Rathburn says he decided to end his long career in the Church of Scientology after he saw a longtime friend attacked by David Miscavige. Martin, I swear to you, I was there and I was, it was that moment of truth for me where I either am going to put this guy's lights out for good or I'm going to remove myself from the environment so I don't. And that literally was what was going through my head. I cannot stand to watch this. I cannot live with this anymore. Scientology spokesman Tommy Davis says that is a lie. These are all people who were moved either by Mr. Miscavige or by their peers for gross um, misconduct and malfeasance in their positions. We were glad that they were gone. And on top of that, the church has literally taken off explosively since they were gone. And frankly, for a to a large extent, because they're gone. Since leaving the church, Marty Rathburn has said little about his experience until he gave a series of interviews to the St. Petersburg Times in Florida, published this summer. He set up a website inviting other Scientologists to make contact if they too are considering defection or have already left. He lives in an obscure location, far away from the power centers of the church. What would you like to see happen to Mr. Miscavige? I would like to see him cease, cease his continuing abuses. Would you like to see him punished for what he's done? I think he should have to pay the piper for what he's done. And what punishment that is, I don't know. Maybe the greatest punishment is the self-inflicted punishment of the recognition uh, of what he's done. We'll be back in just a moment, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel with what's coming up next on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Jimmy? And tomorrow night, from Tom Cruise to John Travolta, we take a closer look at the relationship between Scientology and celebrity and efforts by the church to draw A-list stars. And you can find more information on tonight's report on the Nightline page at abcnews.com and the original St. Petersburg Times report at Tampa Bay. Dot com. But that's our report for tonight. For all of us at ABC News, good night, America.